Ubers, welcome back. I have just worked into walked back into my workshop in the what is it seven o'clock in the morning or something like that. I usually come in and check my two opus discharges, see if they're doing their thing, make sure everything's okay, and charging the new battery with the IMAX, and then I'm running a few tests and stuff on the trolling motor with the iCharger, and I've walked into a bit of a smell. Now, I walk into different smells into this shed all the time because it is a workshop and it's not very well sealed and there's animals that die, but this time the smell was different. And it was absolutely a burning plastic smell. Now let's see if this camera can focus on these cables. They are just completely melted off. That is the black plastic off the negative. And the red plastic off the positive. And it just stopped working, which is disappointing. Um, it was working just a second ago, so I'm just gonna disconnect that very carefully. It's very, very hot. Oh, there we go, it actually broke. So, I can't even tell you what went wrong there other than they, those cables must be undersized. I was pulling about 30 amps from the batteries. Well, at the, at the, when, I, when I was top of charge it was 30 amps. I only just made these cables the other day. They weren't with the good cables that come with the unit. They were just other cables I had in the box underneath, but I thought it was certain but I certainly thought they were much... Oh, that's really hot still. And that is not good. It kind of proves it doesn't matter what you do or how you do it, you can still come unstuck. Because I've, I've, I've made these cables the other day, but I've done so many tests with them and they've never done this. Look at that, absolutely destroyed. Well, there you go, tubers. There's another lesson. Don't underrate your cables. And maybe this is just a little bit more powerful than any other charger I've had before. Now, I am doing a review on it, and this was part of the review, but obviously I won't include this because this is my fault. These are the really heavy cables that come with it and are, and are just brilliant. They don't warm up at all, but these ones weren't. They were from... I think they were actually from the IMAX, and the IMAX is rated at 6 amps, so obviously it was my fault. There we are, some new heavier cables. Back to charging almost 30 amps again. That's going to work a little bit better. Should have done it properly the first time. I'll get some more done in a little while. I've still got some more videos for you to come. I've got somebody's drawn up the mounts for these and provided the files. And I've also got 12 of these left, so that'll be the next video, I think, unless I release the iCharger video. Thank you very much for tuning in. I'll see you on the next one.